Hi, it's Katrina. From the earliest veterinarians to perfectly preserved extinct horse breeds, here are nine of the most amazing and rare archaeological discoveries involving horses. Number 9. Horses and Chariot When it comes to ancient tombs and burial sites, finding weapons and statues is not that uncommon, but in Svestari, Bulgaria, archaeologists found something amazing. They uncovered an entire carriage and two horses that seemed to have been buried standing up, and the horses were still attached to the chariot. This came as quite the surprise because all of the nearby tombs had already been plundered and or destroyed, but this one was still intact. The tomb dates back to the Thracians, a group of fierce warriors from Central and Southeastern Europe, and they were known for their excellent horses. The tomb is about 2,500 years old and is believed to have belonged to someone from the Thracian nobility. The horses and chariot were found perfectly upright, and it looks like the horses pulled the chariot into its final resting place wearing elaborate decorations and sadly were then killed. A dog was also found chained to the chariot. What made the finding even more curious was how complete the chariot was. It had not only the body, but the wheels, the seat, and even the boot. While chariots have been found before, they're usually found in pieces because they're just so old or because they get crushed by the earth, so this find got archaeologists very excited. However gruesome, it is definitely important to note that the Thracians would go to such lengths to preserve not just the chariot, but the horses as well, most likely to be with the warrior or the nobleman in the next life. Number 8. The Horse and the Plateau The Tibetan Plateau has been an interesting point of debate amongst researchers and scientists. It is the world's youngest and tallest plateau, but they are unsure of how or when the plateau got as tall as it did. More recently, scientists have found an ancient horse that may have the answer. Animal bones can help provide a geographical report about the area for scientists. In 2012, scientists found the remains of the Zanda horse, which helped tell the story of the Tibetan Plateau so that scientists can start debating about other things. The Zanda horse was about 4.6 million years old. It looked more like a zebra than a thoroughbred and had three toes. Before this find, only a single skull had been found in the 1980s. Further examination of the fossilized Zanda horse tells us that its body type was best for roaming free across flat grassland areas, which would indicate that at one point the Tibetan Plateau was above the tree line and flat enough for horses like the Zanda to walk across. More proof came when it was determined that the Zanda ate grass that was similar to what similar horses and asses eat on the Tibetan Plateau right now. All this points to the fact that whenever this horse roamed the land about 4.6 million years ago, the plateau was at the same elevation it is today. Number 7. Fleeing Pompeii Pompeii is a cautionary tale about what happens when nature decides to literally erupt and destroy everything in its path. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in the summer of the year 79, it spewed out poison gas, ash, and of course, lava and magma. We often wonder about that terrible day and all those people and animals that tried to flee but were instead vaporized in place by waves of superheated poisonous gas and ash. This year, 2018, during a recent archaeological dig in the ruins of Pompeii, which ironically were near perfectly preserved because of the effects of the volcano eruption, three horses were found trapped in previously unexcavated stables. When ash covered the city, the decaying bodies of the people and animals left spooky voids behind. Scientists have made plaster casts of these vacant spaces that help to tell the stories of the dead. The plaster method was used for these horses, and there was evidence of bits and bridles, which indicates that someone had put them on and tried to flee the city, but they never made it. All indications point that the poisonous gas ended the life of the horse and their riders before they could escape. And now for some cool ancient horseshoes that look like soup spoons. But first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 6. Hippo Sandals Sounds like sandals for hippos, but actually these are ancient horseshoes. Close enough, right? Anyone who has ever owned a horse knows that taking care of its hooves and feet is extremely important, which is why horseshoes were created to help protect them. Apparently though, this is not a modern invention. Ever since humans and horses got together, we've been doing whatever we can to protect their feet. During a dig in 2018, a volunteer archaeologist found what are known as hippo sandals, which were the Roman version of horseshoes. Finding these is actually really rare, as not many have withstood the test of time. What's more, this volunteer found a complete set of four hippo sandals, which is even more rare. 
This set was dated back to 140 to 180 AD and were found in Vindolanda in the UK. Vindolanda is a treasure trove of artifacts and was home to a Roman auxiliary fort. Now it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and over the years there have been many excavations and volunteer programs at the fort. These shoes were found in a ditch, a former Roman trash site. One ancient man's trash is an archaeologist's treasure. Plus, these hippo sandals had a hairline fracture, so definitely not good enough for his horse. So how are hippo sandals different from the horseshoes of today? They're more elaborate and would grasp the whole hoof like a soup ladle. These shoes were worn like sandals. They would be tied or wrapped around the horse's leg instead of being nailed into the hoof. Number 5. Peace Horse Statue when the Roman Empire was at its peak, it was one of the most powerful empires to ever rule the world. It had reign over much of Europe, and this includes the land that is now Germany. However, despite being dominated by Rome, the now Germans were not going to go down lightly, and they fought them many times, including legendary victories such as the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. But what mystified many historians was a peace symbol from an unlikely source, a golden horse head. This golden head was actually once part of a statue that resided in the former German town of Waldgermes. Apparently, the completed statue was one of Caesar Augustus, and it resided in the marketplace of the town. Why does this matter? Well, it indicates that at one time, the Romans and Germans actually lived peacefully amongst one another in this area, which goes against what history tells us about the relationship between the Romans and the Germanic people of the time, including the fact that Waldgermes had no military presence there. It was just Roman citizens and German citizens. It has made many wonder what led to this peaceful union and how it may have affected the course of history in that area. Who knew that there could be peace? Number four, ancient horse in Utah. In North America, horses were once abundant, but died out about 11,000 years ago. It was only when the Europeans arrived and brought their own horses that the population once again began to grow. Finding the ancient remains of the horses that were around during the Ice Age in North America is extremely rare, if not impossible in some places. So imagine archaeologists' surprise when one popped up in Utah, in someone's backyard no less. The family knew about the bones, but they originally thought they were just cow bones, not some ancient version of a horse. However, the bones weren't that large, and in comparison to modern-day species, it was close to the size of a Shetland pony. After analysis, the horse was determined to have drowned in the last ice age, and then sank to the bottom of a lake where it laid there undisturbed for about 16,000 years. Even though it is not mummified and does not have preserved skin and fur, scientists still consider it an amazing and rare find. They are excitedly working on learning more about it. If you live in Utah, keep an eye out. There are all kinds of ancient animal remains out there to be discovered. Number 3. Horse Dentists Earlier this year, researchers decided to go through the archives of the National Museum of Mongolia. They found a tooth fossil, but for the life of them, scientists couldn't explain what was wrong with the tooth. Part of the tooth was crooked and had been very clearly sawed halfway through by a man-made tool. But why? After bringing in horse experts, it was determined that the tooth belonged to a horse from 3,000 years ago that had been ritually sacrificed and then buried. Uh-oh. According to the scientists, the horse dentist, most likely the owner, had tried to flatten the crooked tooth to lessen the pain it was going to be feeling. But for some reason, the operation was never finished, making the tooth look the way it did now. Then the horse was killed for the ritual. Despite this unsuccessful operation, historians agree that this is one of the first recorded cases of veterinary dentistry. The Mongolian relationship with horses runs deep, and it is believed that without them, Genghis Khan would have been unable to create such a large empire. Mongolian horses were valuable, and medical care, including dentistry, was important to take care of them. Number 2. Extinct Foal Siberia is one of the coldest places on Earth, and because of that, it is one of the few places where an extinct animal can be found trapped in ice, perfectly preserved for thousands of years. And that is exactly what happened earlier this year when a two-year-old foal of an extinct species of horse was discovered. This happened when a group of scientists were exploring the Batagaika crater, which for the record is 328 feet deep, and discovered the foal. What really made their day, though, is that it was almost perfectly intact, even though it died between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago. Though it's not clear how it died, it has soft tissue, skin, hooves, hairs in the nostrils, and the tail all preserved. The horse species was identified as a Lena horse, and it is considered the best preserved ancient horse ever found. 
Tests in the future are going to be focused on finding out as much as possible about the Lena horse and how it died. The Lena horse is very curious because even though there still are wild horses in Siberia, none are genetically related to the Lena species. Number 1. Who tamed the first horses? This is a very important question because powerful ancient empires usually grew to such power and size thanks to horses, and they are a very important part of our history. Historians and scientists alike all debate on who tamed the first horses, and there are many different theories. The earliest signs of horse domestication comes from the Botai people in Asia. Scientists found traces of mare's milk inside a vessel, but they had to have learned horsemanship from somewhere. Some historians think that they were hunter-gatherers long after other tribes became farmers, so they must have learned about horses from someone else. The Botai lived in Kazakhstan from 3700 to 3100 BC. Since they have no DNA from other tribes, it is believed they began to domesticate horses first. There were also the Yamnaya people who began domesticating horses, but there was no genetic relationship between the people or the animals, so they must have developed their relationship with horses separately. Much later, the Scythians, also from Kazakhstan, became famous for their warrior horses and skilled riders during the 9th to the 1st century BC. They were very careful to keep their horses healthy and often interbred their stock with wild horses to make sure they remained strong. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these horse finds? Which one did you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!